August 11th, 2017, and this video is called Mutant Conjoined Stems Verbena Banariensis. Now, I have found a couple of these verbenas with conjoined stems, and this one has it also, but this is a very unique one compared to the other ones. Now here is that stem, actually the leaves that are conjoined. Normally it's going to look like this. See how it's just got one on each side, it's an opposite leaf. And it keeps continuing to do that. This is the plant right here and it's got three or four stems coming out. But this is the special one right here and you can see it's almost thicker. Now this has got the conjoined stems, which you could kind of see it right in here. Usually if you look at a regular stem, it's, it's got four sides to it. It's like what they consider quadrangular. See there's four sides to it. It's like a square box. Actually, let's see that. It's quadrangular. But if you look at this one, what's unique about this one is look what happened where instead of two, you actually have four leaves coming out. And usually you lose that mutation. But look what happened. This one, there's four leaves at that leaf break. And then if you go up, that mutation stayed four more. And if you go up, four more. And then this is where the leaf or the stem really gets really conjoined. See how there's two stems that are melded into one there? And then it just starts twisting and turning. And there is the flower. It's going to flower, so I'm going to have to keep the seeds on this. But this is a very unique plant that that mutation continues. Now remember, there's only supposed to be opposite leaves, two on each side, but this has got four, so I don't know if you can call it quadrupedala, or actually quadra leaf, a quad leaf, four leaves, but actually it's two conjoining leaves, because there's actually two verbenas growing as one organism. Now here's another mutation. I'm going to have to dig this up and put it in a pot to save it because these usually overwinter in zone 5 as a perennial and then the seeds come up like crazy so that's why there's hundreds of these plants in the garden. But because I've got the keen eye I found this mutation. And don't think that these are going to be going uh, more frequently these mutations because Fukushima is off the hook and if you go to the live cam over there nobody's doing work over there because they're being irradiated so bad that no work is being done at those reactors and every day more pollution goes into the ocean and into the sky and eventually that comes down and fall out in the ground and the plants pull them up and cause these plant cancers So you better bet that they're uh, coming into our bodies as well, as well as the whole food chain. So keep your eye out for the mutations. Let me know if you're finding them and where you're at. Because unfortunately, you probably have them in your backyard. You just don't see them. So go out there and find them. Make a video. Spread the word. Down with nuclear. Because unfortunately, these plants might look unusual, 
but they're uh, disruptions of the DNA. It's not supposed to be like this. The DNA is corrupt, and that's where you get these cancers and tumors from, unfortunately. <laughs>